How you doing? Doing fine. How about you? Good. Picking up some winnings. I think it's only five things. That's fine. You're welcome to come back. Alrighty. Hey guys, it is Thursday, January 21st. I have nine eBay orders to ship out today. Let's get to work. First couple things I pulled from my storage unit. This right here is an old Air Corps technical guide from 1940. Got this a while back with a bunch of paper ephemera. Thought it would be worth more since it was like pre-World War II, but not worth a ton. That sold for $11.99, free shipping. Your name John about that. He says, hey man, my wife and I started our store based on your tips and I for undervalued goods. J and K Retro. I'm also a professional YouTube editor for a channel called Useful Knowledge. You should check us out. Keep the vids coming. John, thanks for your support. I'll definitely check out that channel. Okay, next thing I pulled is a t-shirt. This is something I got from the Mojo Casher crew. It's been probably six or nine months. It's been a while. It is a Pierce the Veil shirt. I got a dollar into it. I had listed for like 10 or best offer. Somebody sent me an offer of $8 plus shipping and I accepted it. Next is a bobblehead on E3. I actually have two of these that I just picked up as part of a bulk buy. I got about $5 into it. It is a clone trooper from Star Wars. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Your name Christina got this. Thanks for the support, Christina. Hope you like the bobblehead. Next thing is down here on B5. This is an old typewriter. It has a really cool look to it too. So I'm gonna open it up and show you guys. It is an Adler brand. I got this as part of that private pick, I guess about a month ago. I mean, this thing is just so clean. Comes with the case and everything. It is the J5 model. That sold for $99.99 plus shipping. Next is on the C4 shelf. I've already put it in a bag because part of the cardboard was falling apart a little bit, so I wanted to keep it all intact. This is a Bionic Woman doll. I actually got two of these in an uh, online auction about a month ago. I paid $20 for the pair. With the other one, I already sold for $25. This one I had listed for $60. Somebody sent it a best offer of $40 plus shipping, and I accepted it. Okay, next is a Stein, an A8. Looks like I got a few of them in here, so I want to make sure I get the right one. I don't think it's that one. Yep, it's this one right here. I got this from uh, Shirley with that big lot of Steins I bought. This one sold for $14.99 plus shipping. That Steins going out to viewer named Gavin. He says, hello, John. I'm a 15-year-old reseller who just passed $10,000 in sales since the start of the pandemic. That is amazing, Gavin. By watching every single one of you and Lonnie's videos for eight straight months, I've become more knowledgeable and got the picker's eye. Always looking forward to a new video and podcast episode. If I could get a shout out to my eBay store, MN Reseller, that would be awesome. In the last couple of hours, I've become a top-rated seller and couldn't have been more happier. Stay safe, Gavin. Gavin, congrats on the top rated status. It's not an easy thing to get, and thank you for your support. Okay, next thing I'm shipping out is a nail gun. In this big, bright orange case right here. This is something I got from Kevin the Tennessee Picker. I got about $25 into it. That sold for $69.99 plus shipping. I sold another Robin figure. I sold one of these earlier in the week. Only got one left. I've got less than a dollar into this and sold for $5.99 plus shipping. And that is going out to a viewer named Louise. He says, love the channel, sir. Thank you for all your wisdom you share. I as well have my own eBay store, Luis, T-O-R, triple zero seven. Take a look if you get a chance. Would appreciate some feedback. If you have any stickers laying around, would appreciate one. Thank you again, CP, your friend, Luis. Hashtag flipping Lou, hashtag picking Lou. Luis, thanks for the support. I'll be happy to throw in some stickers for you. All right, last thing I'm shipping out is something that sold this morning. This guy right here, this is a Steve Iserman bobblehead, something I got as part of a bulk buy. Gosh, it's probably been like six months ago. I've only got $5 into them. I had a really hard time finding a price to, to list this at just because there really weren't any comps. I think I started at like $40, and since I've had it so long, I sent out an offer last night for like $28, and the watcher countered with $22.50 plus shipping, and I accepted it's Friday morning, I have five eBay orders to ship out. First thing, I went ahead and pulled from my storage unit. It's right here, it is a black Nike jacket I got from Kevin the Tennessee Picker. That sold for $17.99 plus shipping. The jacket's going as if you were named Colin. He says, big fan of your channel, very interesting and informative. Keep up the good work. Colin, thank you for the kind words and thank you for the support. All right, next thing is a lot of cards here at E41. These are from 1954. Uh, there's a uh, Korea card, I think there's Balloon Fight, these are all tops. Um, 
I've had these for quite some time, maybe close to a year actually. My dad gave me the, these with some other things to sell, and these finally sold for $19.99, free shipping. Alright, next is a lot of diecast cars. There's four of them total, and three of them are up here on this D1 rack. Let's see, we've got an Ernie Irvin M&M's from 99. I think it's this one. Yeah, that one right there. And then we've got a Ken Schrader Snickers Cruncher right here. We've got another Ken Schrader's 4th of July M&M's um, right here. Yeah, that's the one. And then we've got a Tony Stewart Home Depot on E3. It's hiding back here. Let's see. I think it is this one. Is that it? Yep. Tony Stewart. All four of those are going to the same buyer for $74.96 plus shipping. And I got a box ready to go to just combine them all in one box and refund them the difference in the shipping cost. Next is a hat. It is a Jeff Gordon hat. Let's see. Right here. New at the tags. I got that for about 50 cents of that online auction, a lot of stuff that I bought. That's all for $11.99 plus shipping. Next is a couple of Lord of the Rings figures. Let's see, first is Strider. I actually have four of these, but just one sold. And the next one is Bilbo, right here. These two are going to the same buyer for $19.98 plus shipping. All right guys, every video I try to show you one thing that I pack. Today, there's going to be these cards. Now, I see a lot of people send these, you know, just as they are in a bubble mailer. It would probably be okay. You could also use top loaders. That's those, like, plastic sleeves that are, the you know, the little plastic containers that you put a card in. Those are called top loaders. And that would probably be okay, too, just putting that in a bubble mailer. I don't have top loaders for these. I've just got those, like, flimsy penny sleeves. So what I'm going to do... Just take a piece of cardboard, got a piece of cardboard right here, and I've got my handy dandy box cutter with my scoring tool. So, I'm going to just kind of eyeball where I want to score this. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, the scoring tool doesn't cut the cardboard, but it puts an indentation there so that you can fold it over like that. I'm going to fold it over again, and then I'm going to tape it reason I'm doing this is because it's going to give it added protection and ensure that it arrives safely and it will not add a lot of weight to the package. So I think this should still fit in this small bubble mailer and it weighs under two ounces. So this will ship at the cheapest first class rate there is to ship it. All right, my orders are packed up and I've got some errands to run today. I'm going across town to pick up some auction winnings. I bid on some stuff last night. I think it was five things. I spent around $90. I'm really excited to pick that stuff up. And I'm also going over to my antique mall. I haven't been over there in a couple weeks and I got a carload of stuff to restock my booths. All right, guys, I'm at my antique mall. I'm going to get all the stuff unloaded and get it in my booths. I'll show you guys a few things I brought into this booth. Um, old Tonka, like bulldozer, some glass jars, handful of cameras, this mail box thing, Coleman cooler, and some records. All right, for this booth, I brought in this UK trash can, underground sign, some door stops, chief sign, these tokens here, a mortar and pestle. That uh, telescope that I picked up a few weeks ago, another mailbox, some odds and ends, jars, and uh, doorstop, a few books, and a couple things right here on this shelf. If you guys are local and you've never been to my booths but you want to check them out, they're at the Westchester Antique Center. I'll put the address and booth locations down below in the description. All right, let's head across town and pick up those auction winnings. How you doing? Doing fine. How about you? Good. Picking up some winnings. 
um, okay. I think it's only five things. That's fine. You're welcome to come back. Alrighty. Okay. When's the jersey going up? I don't know. I have to ask Joe about that. I don't know. R9 memorabilia. Do you, do you do embroidery? No, I'm just going to sell it. Okay. And then... Um, I think these two signs... Yes. And the German art books, Joe. Are they over that way? Uh, what number are they? Did you find them? Or? No, they're down below Yeah, you. okay. But below me? Oh, yeah. Right in front of me. Okay. Number 38. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Let me put them over there. And I think I'll just run these out okay, and come back fine. for the rest. I think I got a helmet and one other thing. Oh, that clock. Yeah, that clock. Oh, good. It's full size. I was wondering about that helmet. <laughs> I was pretty sure it was, okay. but you never but you know. Never know. Oh. That's right. Yeah, that's you your, funky. Would you like your yeah, sure. I'll take okay. it. That's everything, then, right? That should be everything. Okay. Yep. Okay. Very Thank good. you. Very Have a great day. Thank you. All right, guys. I'm back at the warehouse. I went ahead and pulled out all the auction winnings that I got. I'm going to show you guys what I bought. Uh, first thing is this stack of old art magazines like world war ii era i paid nine dollars for that whole stack and these were selling around 30 to 40 dollars each on ebay and there's like eight of them there so that was a really good buy next is this vintage lackner clock made in cincinnati it has a really cool art deco look to it for that i paid 26 i think that should sell between 80 and 100 I got this tapestry, um, it's kind of like a self-knitting kit, so it just has all the materials for you to knit it. I only paid $3 for that, I think that'll sell for around $25. I got some signs back here. This is 2015 All-Star Neighborhood. The uh, MLB All-Star game was here in Cincinnati in 2015, I went to it. It was a lot of fun. I think I'm just going to keep this, probably hang that in my basement. And behind it is a rosy red print. It's like on foam board or something. It's kind of neat. I've never seen that. For those two signs, I paid 24. So I'll probably put this one in the antique booth and then keep that one. And then last thing right here I'm really excited about. This is an army football helmet. And it has a very unique camo design. I paid $14 for that. Couldn't really find a ton of comps. I saw a couple that I think were maybe in like new condition for close to 200 bucks. So I think maybe $100, $150 for that. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.